We're joined now by Anthony Chan. He's a former chief economist at the financial firm JP Morgan Chase. Welcome back to the show. Glad to be with you. Lovely. So, break down the first quarter numbers for us. It's a big jump from a year ago, but that was the height of China's battle with COVID-19. Well, that's right. Uh, when you look at a year ago, you had a huge contraction of economic growth uh, in the first quarter of uh, last year. So, uh, obviously, when you're doing the year-over-year -year comparisons, the numbers are going to be impressive. When you look at the numbers on a quarter-over-quarter -quarter basis, uh, the numbers actually came in below expectations, and the reasons for that are pretty obvious. Uh, we know there were some regional travel restrictions during the Lunar New Year, and that, of course, slowed down economic growth to some extent. But then when you look at other data that came out at the same time, like retail sales for March, we know that those travel restrictions were lifted uh, after the first week in March, and that helped uh, retail sales uh, show an impressive performance for March. And that tells me that in the second quarter of the year, uh, China should register much better economic growth. Okay, so second quarter going up a little bit. But what's your assessment of China's growth um, overall for this year? Because just last week, uh, the IMF uh, forecast a growth of 8.4%. I think that we are going to get growth uh, in that neighborhood. In fact, I believe that economic growth is probably be uh, faster than the 8.4% number that is being projected. Uh, we also have to keep in mind that China is sort of uh, trying to uh, juggle a couple of trends. For one, uh, they certainly want credit uh, to slow down a little bit, and that slowdown in credit was probably responsible for the slowdown in fixed asset investment. They also want the real estate to slow down. I think China would be very happy to see retail sales coming in much stronger, but they want quality growth, and that means that they want organic growth, and they certainly don't want growth if it comes at the expense of speeding up credit growth, which they normalize uh, in the quarter, and hence uh, the slower quarter-over-quarter -quarter economic growth. Anthony, um, what are the potential pitfalls? What areas are still really quite vulnerable to the global slowdown? Well, you have to realize that, uh, to some extent, with uh, the risk of uh, infections, uh, in China and certainly in the rest of the world, it could slow down economic growth. We know that exports uh, are coming in uh, uh, very strong because the global economy is doing well, but to the extent that these variants cause a problem for global economic growth, they'll cause a problem for China. Now, of course, uh, in China, we saw imports uh, very strong and people get excited and think it's consumer spending, but almost two thirds of that uh, surge in imports was due uh, to products uh, that China imports to process their exports. Hmm. So again, the pitfalls are that these infections could accelerate, which, by the way, I don't expect, but it is a risk. And the second risk is that, uh, that the COVID infections can accelerate around the world, which, again, I hope doesn't happen because we are seeing vaccination increase, especially in the United States, and hopefully Europe won't be far behind. Right. And the slow recoveries of other parts of the world are also clearly affecting China's growth, would you say? There's no doubt, because China is still an export, a strong export engine, and a lot of its growth comes from exports. So to, any, uh, to the extent that global economic growth slows down, it will have a negative impact on China. And of course, we still need to see that service sector in China picking up a little bit more. We know manufacturing is strong, but we need uh, that service sector to, to come up uh, a little bit stronger. And that will happen uh, if these infections in China slow down. By the way, the infections in China are still very minuscule compared to the rest of the world. Mm. But China is very careful to make sure that it doesn't get out of control. And for that, we give them great kudos. We sure do. Anthony Chan, thank you so much for your time as always.